Since 2001, America has been at war. While the fight continues, most U.S. troops are coming home. More than 1,500 brave men and women lost limbs in combat. For these soldiers, the transition back to civilian life is hard. Meet Fred. Fred lost his left leg and right arm to an IED. But thanks to extraordinary advancements in medical technology, Fred should, in time, be able to enjoy many of the things he used to. This wasn't always the case. Let's see how Fred would have fared in centuries past. In ancient Egypt, Fred's prosthetics are made from wood and stitched leather. Durable, but Fred is probably dead. His artificial limbs are added only during mummification so that he can step into the afterlife whole. During the Middle Ages, Fred's prosthetics are made of iron. His arm has a shield holder and his leg fits comfortably into a stirrup. Clever, but they're really only meant to hide Fred's injuries. In the 16th century, Fred gets a mechanical knee and a hand that flexes. During the Civil War, Fred's molded prosthetics are suctioned on for a more secure, comfortable fit. And today, Fred's prosthetics are made from super light carbon fiber or plastics. They match Fred's skin tone and even feature hair and freckles. The Flexfoot Cheetah, which stores kinetic energy like a spring, gets him back on the track. And prosthetic arms, like the eye limb, have a rotating thumb and are controlled by an app or by responding to the signals in Fred's nerves. It's almost magic.